Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth with Red Rose Books. Today you're going to be learning how to make a blind date with a book. So when I first started making these, I was just kind of on my own. I saw a couple different people doing different things and I wanted to make it my own. And I just wanted to share with you guys how I do it personally. And so that's how you're going to end up with something that looks like this. We're going to start by gathering up all of our materials. The first thing I do is grab a trusty marker, a pair of scissors, tape to hold everything together. Of course, the book. Today we're doing countdown, counting down with you. And then I have some fun extras, some bookmarks and stickers to put into it when we're all set up. So I like to measure it out by doing three times the width of the book. So the front, the back, and then the front again. And you can use any kind of paper that you want. I use usually plain white paper or like a brown craft paper just so that the all the items, items that are going on it stick out and that when I'm writing on it, you can see that easily. But you can use anything that's festive, anything that's fun, and you don't even have to write anything on it. So uh, also pro tip is getting the crafting paper that has the lines on the inside so you can follow along with it. So the book that we're doing today, Counting Down With You, is like a cute rom-com. There is a young girl in high school and her parents are going back home for a month and while she's away, she has a visitor. Then I'll measure out how many squares there are on the wrapping paper and then do that by one and a half plus an extra one just for safety. Then I'll cut out the extra and usually you can use this paper to make like a, another smaller one. So I'll take the book, center it in the middle and then I'll fold up the, yeah, so right here I'm measuring just to see that when I fold it over, it'll be perfectly in the center. Then I'll take a small piece of tape, go down to the bottom edge, and then line it up with the top part of the book. And so that is a clean edge and the bottom is all covered up. And I'll fold down the top half. So the lines don't have to be perfect, but you want it to be covered and straight for the most part. And this is the part that I had a little bit more difficulty with. So I'll make a triangle on the bottom and crease that piece. And then I'll make a crease with the top part as well. Fold that down and then pull it over to cross across the bottom of the book. Then I'll tape that down. And it's okay if it doesn't go all the way to the edge because you'll have the other side to cover it up. So again, that's crease, crease, and then creasing the top part and folding it down. Then pulling it all the way across, kind of getting it snuggled in like a little baby. And then another piece of tape. Then at the bottom, fold the edges, make little right angles. And then fold down that last piece, kind of like a present, like the last part. And that's our little last piece of tape. Then this is part is very, um, This part you can do however you want. So I usually write on the side if it's like a hardcover paperback and then I'll write across the top blind date with a book because that's what we call it. But you can call it a blind book. You can call it anything that you want. We'll also add the genre of the book on the side on like the smaller flap. Um, 
and then on the bigger part we'll have a little bit of information about the book so something that's like a little bit of crap like a little grabbing that'll get people to know enough about the book but not too much keep the mystery going I think that's a common misconception is that a lot of times people think that they are all mystery genre books but the mystery is what book you're gonna get so you can add the stickers and the bookmarks into like the pockets that you've made and they hold in really nicely because of how tightly you hold it and then yeah, this is up to you for what you want to say about the book this is like a little high school romance it's a fake dating situation and so she's hoping that by the time her parents get back all the rumors are dissipated and you can add anything that you want you can have um, coupon you can have some coupons so like we usually partner up with a local coffee shop and there'll be a coupon in there for a free drink the next time you get a coffee from there you have a drink and then you have a book and you have like a whole afternoon planned and so that's everything here we are showing it off it's pretty cute it's pretty easy to do it doesn't take too long Wow, thanks so much you guys for joining me. So now you guys can go and make your own blind date with a book, give it to a friend, share it with somebody, put in a little free library. If you wanna see more content like this, let us know what kind of crafts you wanna see. Make sure to comment that down below, give us a like, maybe subscribe, something like that. Bye.